think it's a fatal mistake is because James Gunn, if he takes the job, to me is not showing the proper recognition and respect for everything that being the creative head of DC Studios requires. Even if he directs a good Superman movie, I think it will come at the expense of some of the other projects that are being put together. And at the end of the day, his job, while it is largely about relaunching Superman, it's not entirely about relaunching Superman. He's got to get people to buy into the whole universe. What up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Nerd Jet Report. I'm your host, Pablo, and joining me, as always, is Mr. Brian Schultz. Brian, we've talked about this possibility of of James Gunn because he's written it. I know because he's written it. And although he said he doesn't want to direct it, I think he's just saying it. I think he's itching to do this. Why, Brian? Because he understands what's at stake. It's in his hands. He wrote it. Unless he knows somebody that has the... Unless he has the right person, Brian, he's not going to let this just go. So it is very possible. And again, Peter Safran is nudging him to possibly do it, Brian. If he's really intent on not doing it, I'm pretty sure he had issues with that. But if he is thinking about it, uh, you have said there's no way he's going to do it. He said he's not going to do it. Tracy has, he thinks um, that there's a possibility of him doing it. And he's not uh, very excited about that possibility either. You aren't either, Brian. Tell me why. I think I'm putting a little bit more faith in it. If he does do it, that he'll do a good job. But I'll give you my reasons why. But you tell me why you think this is a horrible idea and why this is not going to happen and why this can't work. So the, 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 the reports are making the rounds that after Peter Saffron said at the DC unveiling that he was hoping that Gunn would agree to direct it and Gunn kind of gave a deadpan poker face and didn't, didn't react. After publicly saying he wasn't going to direct it, now reports are coming out that he is in fact likely to direct Superman Legacy. Which is, is it to me is the first fatal mistake of the new DCU if it happens for two reasons. Number one is I don't trust D James Gunn's tonal command of what I think a Superman movie needs to be. That's the primary concern. Is it impossible? No. And in fact, you know, in fairness to James Gunn, a great example of how it can work is sitting right in a DCU Elseworlds right now. And that's Todd Phillips, the same man who directed old school and the hangover gave you Joker. You could not have movies that are more different tonally or in genre than that. So to give a creator credit, directors don't always direct in the same fashion, in the same form or fashion. So to say Gunn could never do it is not fair to his talent. Yeah. Yeah. But we haven't seen him do it in his career to date. He has been pretty consistent in both his visual approach and his approach to dialogue and character. It's worked yeah. great, like in, like in Guardians of the Galaxy. It doesn't always hit, and I don't think it's appropriate for a great Superman story, which is number one, why I'm scared, at yeah. the very least. But why I think it's a fatal mistake is because James Gunn, if he takes the job, to me, is not showing the proper recognition and respect for everything that being the creative head of DC Studios requires. Even if he directs a good Superman movie, I think it will come at the expense of some of the other projects that are being put together. And at the end of the day, his job, while it is largely about relaunching Superman, it's not entirely about relaunching Superman. He's got to get people to buy into the whole universe. And I just worry, can you, a, a movie of that scale, mm -hmm. can you be laser focused on making that great and be laser focused on making the whole universe great at the same time. That's the other reason I think this would be a tremendous mistake if that's what comes to pass. I agree with all that, Brian. 
I took a look at his filmography and his filmography, the only thing I can see on that filmography is Guardians of the Galaxy. That was the only movie that I think was not, I'm not going to say successful, but that was, everybody really liked that movie. The first yeah. Guardians of the Galaxy. And there were people who really liked uh, Suicide Squad. Although the, the critics, uh, the critics gave it a 97 percentile, right? Uh, it just didn't do well. Oh, in the box about nine, low nineties, low nineties. But yeah, they loved it. Loved yeah. it. Yeah. You and I didn't love it, but they loved it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and Guardians of the Galaxy, Brian, uh, the audience score there is like ninety-seven, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. That's as his it, highest. As it should be. Yes. Yes. Yeah. But if you look be. at the yeah. rest of his filmography, Brian, it is suspect. This is suspect, and he's a writer on a lot of these things, Brian. There is a certain thing about him that he writes a certain way. Can he deviate from that? If you go into his IMDb and you see his signature traits, heavy with the tongue-in-cheek commas, dialogue, that has to go. Or not go entirely, but you can't do it as... Uh, uh, you can't go on two, five minutes going back and forth. Having said that, Brian, the one thing that gives me hope and why I think if he did decide to direct it is the things that he's been saying. He has said a lot of key things for me that tells me that he's thinking in he's going in the right direction when he says Superman, when he mentions Superman also, when he mentions Grant Morrison, when he mentions Justice League Unlimited. Those things get me, okay, he's in the right direction. If he can stay in that in those storylines or that sort of Superman, I think he's going to do a good job. Again, Brian, I've said this in, in the last show, he understands what's at stake. I think it'll be difficult for him to let it go to someone else and it not fail. I think he wants to be responsible for the success of Superman because nobody since Richard Donner has been really been that successful except for the few who believe Zack Snyder's Man of Steel um, is belongs up there with Christopher Reeve's Superman, which I don't believe that is uh, the case. So, can he move away from this the way he does tonally, can he move away? That's that's the question. That's the question. Yeah, I totally agree. And like I said, it it has been done. We just haven't seen. It. And you you reference you know the tongue in cheek. I go even to the visuals. You know where he's been strong. There's a real playfulness, like a real artistry, and yes. like I gotta admit that doesn't really to me it doesn't fit with my classic view of what Superman visuals look like. You know, like if you go back to the scene in Suicide Squad where um, Harley Quinn is kind of bashing heads and killing people, and he's kind of got these like exploding flowers instead of blood, it visually looks great. Like yeah. it's very appropriate for Harley Quinn, but it's like it. That's not you can't. If Superman has a sequence like that, I'm out. Like that's not <laughs> what I want to see. In a yeah, fight scene. you know, so that's what I'm worried about. That, so it's like, can he, can he, does he get that? You, you might be right. Maybe he, in reading the com, the right comics, he gets the right visual flair to apply to Superman. But he has to get that right, and he has to get Clark right in a way that Clark is not an SNL host. Yeah. You know, like Clark's got to be like both earnest but positive and hopeful, and there's all these qualities that like just don't don't line up with what we've seen. So Again, I'm, I'm skeptical, and like I said, I just I want him to be. In my opinion, he's done a he's done a creditable job with charting a new course for the DCU. I kind of want to see him lean more into that. But I thought about like when I saw this article, we were going back and forth about it. I kept thinking about there's a scene uh, in Fast Five, and by the way, the Fast X trailer looks. If you want to see Jason Momoa. Mm -hmm. an early run of his Lobo character. Watch the trailer for Fast X because he's basically playing a version of Lobo in that movie, it looks like. And they connect back to Fast Five. But there's a scene in Fast Five where they're getting ready to plan the heist and they got a, they got a copy of the vault where the, where the money is stashed in Brazil. 
and like i think it's tyrese that like they're like all right we need to get reyes's thumbprint so we can open one of the vault and and <laughs> tyrese's character goes how do you know it's reyes's thumbprint and Ludacris turns around and says, you got a hundred million dollars in here. You gonna put another thumbprint on this? <laughs> that's what I thought about when I thought about it. It's to your point. If you got that much riding on the line yeah. for your legacy at the studio, are you gonna trust someone else to steer the ship? You might be right. He can't, yeah. he, at the end of the day, he just doesn't want to let it go. It's gonna be tough. He wrote it, Brian. And he's been in the director's chairs plenty of times. And this leads me to say, Brian, you're, you're right in that Kevin Feige ain't up there making films. Although he possibly could, he's been around it enough to know what he wants in a film, and but he lets other people do it. Because he has a, this whole other thing to worry about. Is James Gunn spreading himself too, too, too thin? with this because you know this is not an easy task and and for him uh to take this on i mean certainly brian there are not a lot a, a lot of things coming out at the same time there's not a lot of things i think they're doing the right thing and focusing at the right things at a time you know screen uh play has to be done all that stuff has to be done before they begin because he pointed out to some of those things that happened over there across the street as Tracy would say. <laughs> and they want to do things differently here. So let's see, man. Let us know in the comment section below. Do you guys think that uh, Mr. James Gunn is going to direct Superman Legacy? I tend to think he's itching to do it. He just hasn't uh, made the call yet. So let's see. Uh, yeah, let us know in the comment section below what you guys think of this possibility, and uh, we'll see you next time on the Nerd Jet Report. New sheriff in town.